Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Cindy here from CLB Craft Creations and this is our day seven of the holiday card series featuring a new stamp set this week. It is the Flurry of Wishes. I love these big bold uh, snowflake images but um, we're going to focus on these three images today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is a sample of the card that we're going to be making. It's going to have um, Wisteria Wonder. This one actually I think is Soft Sky, but we're going to use Pool Party and Island Indigo. So let's get started. Our card base is a piece of Whisper White cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then I have a piece of Soft Sky um, cardstock, which is cut at four by five and a quarter. And we're going to go ahead and just stamp first, and then um, then we'll assemble. It comes together pretty quickly. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap just because I'm going to stamp off a little bit. And let's get started with the pool party ink. And we'll take the largest of the stamp. And I'm just going to get my sample here so I can just make sure I got the placement right. Um, the first one is going to go down on the bottom left. And I only, I actually I'm going to use three of these. So we'll put another one kind of half on there. And then one up here in the top corner. Okay. And I am actually going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment next, just so I want to make sure that I have room for it. And that's going to be in the Wisteria Wonder. really well. And then we're just going to kind of eyeball this here. I don't know that that was actually straight. It wasn't straight at all, so we're going to start over. <laughs> all right, how about I stamp the sentiment first? Okay, let's see if we can actually get this right. So we'll stamp the sentiment first. Make sure you can see that. Okay. I didn't put it on my block straight, so that kind of messed me up a little bit. There we go, that's better. My Wisteria Wonder looks like it needs to be re-inked. Okay, now let's go back in with the Pool Party and the large, the large ones. And now I can angle that better so that I know that it fits. Ah, and I just stamped that in the wrong color. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes. All right, I'm just going to clean that off with my stamp and scrub real quick. And we'll get right back to it. Okay, with the pool party. I'm going to put this one here. And I am basically lining that up so that half of the, the snowflake is on the card. Just kind of line up those two points there. And then I'm going to do the one in the top. Now, let's try this again. So we're going to use the larger of the two snowflakes. Now, when you get this stamp set, they are actually together. Let me show you real quick. They are actually together because they line up with the um, coordinating punch so that you can um, stamp these and then punch them out easily. I wanted the versatility of being able to stamp these in random places, so I cut them apart but they go right back together really easily. So when I want to cut out my snowflakes, it's easy to put them back together. Okay? I'm not telling you to cut your stamps, but if you're comfortable with doing that and you want the versatility, they it does not harm the stamp at all just to cut them. So, all right, now we're going in with the Wisteria Wonder and we're gonna go ahead and stamp three of these as well. So I'm gonna do this one right here. to do one down at the bottom corner here, kind of framing in that sentiment in the Wisteria Wonder. Okay, and then one more that we'll put up here in the top corner. And I'm just going to kind of fit that right into the, it just kind of fit right in there. Okay, 
And then get the Wisteria Wonderful away. I'm going to bring in the Island Indigo with the smaller of the snowflakes. And then we're going to put three in here too. So we're going to go ahead and fill in some of these spaces. So I'm going to put this one here. And then I will put one over here. And then we'll get one down here, which is kind of partial. Love it. All right. That is all of our stamping. All right, so now I'm going to bring back in my card base. And I'm going to go ahead and layer. Just take your snail. going to center that on the front of the card. Okay, and then a final touch. Now on my original one I also did some um, some two-way glue and the Dazzling Diamonds. I didn't really like the way it looked, that's why I added the rhinestone. So I'm going to do this one without the Dazzling Diamonds, and I'm just going to add the rhinestones. So I want to, end, um, I want to add one of these tiny little rhinestones to the centers. I'm just going to cut those apart. So the centers of all of these. Just kind of go down the line there. <clears throat> you can just cut up these strips here. And then we're going to use the bigger ones for the center of the bigger snowflakes. There you go, and it's still pretty flat, so it'll go through the mail, no, no issues. Um, and that is almost done. I want to just go ahead and stamp. Um, I want to stamp the larger snowflake in Wisteria Wonder on the inside. So I'm just going to clean this off again, and then I'm going to open up my Wisteria Wonder. And then I'm going to stamp that right down here in the corner. And there you go. That is your finished card project for day seven of our holiday card series. Thank you for joining me today. Please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. See you next time.